Hey everybody, Shep here. Today I thought I'd make a video about my John Deere Gator. Well, technically it's not a Gator, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, if, you're, if this is your first time seeing any of my videos, my channel is a, uh, a vlog where I show the stuff I do on the homestead. And uh, today I kind of thought I'd do a little, uh, little video talking about this thing so I've had this thing for just over a year I got this uh, at the beginning of March last year and it's just super handy I've never had um, you know something like this I guess if you want to call it a side-by-side -side ride around on thing uh, this is the first one of these I've ever had so I've uh, I've just been in love with it ever since I've got it so this is actually a John Deere AMT 626. Uh, this was before they started calling them Gators. These were kind of the first ones they came out with. I don't know a whole lot about this. I'm sure there's somebody who'd be watching this that knows a lot more about it than I do. Uh, these things, um, they call them five wheelers with because they have the one wheel in the front. These things kind of actually have a cult following. They didn't make them real long, and there's a lot of people that are really into these things because there's Facebook groups and and a lot of people just really like these and they're they're pretty collectible really um, mine's kind of rough but we'll go over it and uh, we'll talk about it so the very first ones of these uh, came out in 1987 and they were called AMT 600 um, they, they basically they had the one front tire but the front of it, it pretty much looks like a three-wheeler with a uh, with a dump bed on it. It's got handlebars and like a seat like a four-wheeler or a three-wheeler would have. Uh, so that was the first version. Then they came out with a 622, which looks a lot more like this. And then this is the newest version, this uh, AMT 626. They made the 626 from 1990 to 1992, so it's the same same age as I am. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what year this one is. If there's anybody out there that has a serial number breakdown for specific years of these, I'd love to uh, I'd love to see it because I'd just like to know what year this particular one is. So, when they made these things, part of the reason that they're a three-wheel design is they were designed where you could load them in the back of a uh, pickup truck. And they were kind of marketed toward hunters and stuff like that where you could take them, take them somewhere in the back of your truck that you couldn't, you know, pull a trailer. So, that's kind of interesting. Um, so, this particular one that I've had for like I said a year now I got from my wife's family her uh, aunt and uncle had it and I got it from them they had had it probably four years or so before I got it and um, when they bought it it's supposed to have a plastic front that was missing and the engine that it had was completely locked up. Originally, these had a Kawasaki engine. I think they were about nine and a half horsepower. Um, there's the kitty cat. He's always out following me around. And then this one, their friend, he put a Predator 420cc uh, Harbor Freight engine. This thing's about 13 horsepower. That's this is kind of a common thing switching out, uh, switching to these engines, and uh, he did that for them. And then they made made the front uh, part here because it was just all frame when they got it. And they put they put these, which were at the time new seats. They're obviously not obviously not John Deere, but uh, yeah, it's got a dump bed. And, uh, see if we can get this started. Yeah. 
So yeah, she just uh, she just purrs. I have the uh, cover shield thing for that. Um, and check this out: hydraulic dump bed with the flick of a switch. Yeah, I'm telling you what, if you just said, you know, I would want something with a hydraulic bed, I would have thought, oh, that's uh, that's too fancy for me. I, I don't know what I'd do with, you know, something that high tech, but that hydraulic dump bed is so, so sweet. Uh, really, one of the main things I like using this for is picking up sticks and stuff and, and uh, cutting brush and the downside is you know for cutting brush it's kind of got a smaller bed but um it's just so nice to just be able to throw stuff in the in the in the bed and then go to your burn pile and just back up to it and dump it it is so nice after having that i don't know that i would not want to have it so anyway like i said i got this from them they had put a new put a new engine in it they had done some other minor stuff uh the axles there's two two axle bearings there on each on each axle there's an outer one and an inner one there's different variations on these but this particular one has two different sizes the outer ones have all been replaced they replaced two of them and i did the other two because they were bad and i had it apart We'll get into that in a minute, but I had it apart, and so I went ahead and put new ones in it. Uh, the inner ones are okay. They're the originals. Um, <clears throat> so, the only major thing that I've done to it yet is I bought this. This uh, secondary clutch <laughs> torque converter thing. I don't know if we can really see it good. Walk over to the other side of the sun. I bought that last year. The old one, these teeth were all chewed up, and it was just a mess. So that's the only thing I've done to it. But I don't have a whole lot in this thing. They gave me a really good price, uh, basically the price of just the, uh, just the money they spent for the Predator engine. But it's got a new engine. And then now it's got this new one. The front one's fine. There ain't nothing wrong with the front one. But uh, when I put this in, of course, I had it all apart. And that's when I changed those axle bearings. And uh, when I had it apart, I opened up that transmission just to make sure there wasn't something major wrong in there before I dropped $300 on that thing. But uh, there wasn't, so mechanically she's very very good it's just uh her appearance isn't as great so you know like i said i got this homemade front and then the uh you know just the old the 30 something year old plastics all cracked and stuff but other than that not too bad it's got this bed liner which is nice um down, one of the downsides was there they did not have a tailgate for this they did not get one with it but actually i have uh my uh cousin works at a metal fabrication place and he's actually currently working on making me one i'm trying to make it where it looks like the original and uh all that good stuff and i've got some other i've got some other updates i'm doing to it um, I wanted to get new seats for it, yellow seats, but you know, for two new seats, it's like almost $150. So I went the cheap route and bought two seat covers. So I've got seat covers to put on it. I've got the guard for that thing. Um, the bracket on the engine is a little bit different than the way it, where it lines up is a little bit different. So I've got to cut a little couple pieces of metal to make it fit, but. I'm doing that 
and then when they had it all four tires on the back are brand new uh two of them they bought the uh carlisle's which is what it had and then these uh these are ocelots i guess they were a lot cheaper and in my opinion they aren't they are definitely not the tire that the uh, Carlisle's are. Those Carlisle's are nice. But it's got all these new tires. Um, always had a problem with this one leaking. So I put a tube in it last fall. Um, once again, the, the cheap Ocelots. But the uh, Carlisle's never had a problem with them. This one, this other ocelot, it's uh, it has a problem leaking, so I've got a tube I'm going to put in that. And then this front tire, which is the original tire, uh, it's got a tube in it now that leaks real bad. I got a new tube for it. This tire's rough. I mean, it's pretty dry rotted, but this tire's an odd size compared to the other ones. And uh, last time I looked, I think this tire's like, you know, over $120 brand new, so kind of want to make that last as long as I can so I'm putting tube in that tire and that tire and that should take care of the leaky tires um like I said I got the cover to put on that seat covers um there's a little rubber plasticky things that hold the tailgate on I bought new ones of those those were not cheap for what they are and I think that's about it I did buy just to make it look a little bit nicer I bought the original uh, decal that they would have had on the front here just to make it look a little bit nicer I mean it ain't it ain't too bad it, like I said I love it it does everything I want it to do it's just just a little rough but I guess it could be a lot worse. I've seen some of these that are uh, are pretty bad. But I love it. This is the first John Deere anything that we've ever had on the homestead. That's, uh, I've never had any anything John Deere other than a John Deere toy tractor. So I like it. Um, all these, I think all of these were made in Canada this one is but yeah that's all i can really tell you about it i love it it's made my life on the homestead that much better i just love love having it and riding around on it it doesn't go real fast but i don't need it to i wouldn't take it on the road or anything like that but for moving stuff i couldn't ask for anything much better so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, might be, I know you probably see this in videos and stuff. And just wanted to make a little video about it. Not a whole lot of them still out there, I guess. But anyway, thanks for watching the, the video. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you to uh, my new subscribers I've been picking up. And uh, hope everybody out there has a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later.